happy birthday, Faye. I am really sorry that we're still kind of in some form of a lockdown. Um, Boris's new word, tier two, um, lockdown still in my eyes. Um, we can't celebrate how we ordinarily would with lots of Prosecco and laughs. Um, but I really hope we can do very, very, very soon. Um, so the, the questions I've been asked, first impressions. So first impressions of Faye Peckham, I think it depends on what story I tell at this point. Um, story number one is where we are first clapping eyes on you in Bateman Street Playground where you are having a fight. <laughs> and story number two um, is um, us first meeting up rowing um, for like all our induction. And I think I, I think I just remember you being quite quiet at that point, shockingly. Um, both very fond memories very fond memories um and then question number two was the embarrassing or funny funny memory this was really really difficult because i think there are two that i love from croatia um so i have opted for um the day that all of us were waiting at the bus stop like mums waiting to pick up their kids from a day trip and um off walk you and strax <laughs> where you were so red from not having any sun cream with you or applying any all day um and we gave you such stick um but i don't think i'll ever forget that um and the third question that I have been asked to prepare for was, um, why, why you're such a good friend? I mean, I yeah, spent a long time thinking about this one, trying to find something. Um, joking, obviously. Um, no, I think, oh, it's so difficult because you are just, you're a wonderful friend. Um, but I think my favourite quality about you is your honesty. Um, you're the girl I come to if I know I want an honest opinion. Um, you'll, lay it down how it is um, and I do just love that about you um but obviously you are so thoughtful and generous as well and yeah I'm just sad that we can't can't celebrate you um in all of your glory on your birthday um but I will love and leave you for now because otherwise I will be boring you um but please go and have a Prosecco on me and we will see you as soon as we can love you lots Happy birthday, Faye. I hope you're having a good one. Funny old birthday this year, but uh, hopefully Jack's doing lots of nice things for you, like this. Um, so first impression of you, I think it's fair to say that I uh, didn't really want to get on the wrong side of you. Um, and then we went on the French exchange and we became BBFs, best buddies forever. I uh, thought we were really cool. Um, funny memory from that trip would be uh, Fiona Schmidt going to drink some Coke. Faye comes along. Oi, Fiona, what's that? Is it goth juice? <laughs> and obviously you found yourself very funny because you always do. Um, yeah, I mean, you're a great friend, partly because you find yourself funny <laughs> and you're always great to be around and you are super reliable and you're just great. So I hope you have a good birthday and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye. Hello, Faisy. Uh, happy birthday. Um, yes, I'm sat out doing a wildlife patrol at the moment at the airport, which is wonderful. Um, yeah, I hope you're having a, a wonderful day, if uh, if indeed you've had started the day and it's not just the morning, which I'm sure it will be. But, uh, well, let's see. Um, what makes you a good mate? Well, apart from the fact that you will pretty much do anything for anyone if, if, if they asked you, I would imagine. And... And the fact that you are constantly organising stuff for us all the time so that we can have a good time and just and basically have to, having to be the, the one that chases all the money and do all the organising, which is wonderful. Otherwise, we probably would would have folded up as a group if, uh, if it weren't for you organising. I mean, Joe helps a little bit, obviously, but that's probably down to you um, bossing her about funny story with us um i guess well there's so many but to to pick one is hard so i think i'd go probably with the fact that um 
none of us really know why, but the story where you threw a drink over me, I guess, is probably the funniest one, because none of us really know why. I can't remember why. Obviously, I probably pissed you off for good reason, I would imagine. Like, so I'm I'm sure I deserve the drink throwing, but yeah, none of us really remember why. So I'd probably have to go with that as the uh, as the funny story for us, because I can't really think of of anything to pinpoint. So I'm gonna go with that. Happy birthday. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy birthday, Faye. Hope you're having a lovely day. Um, you as old as fuck. Um, <laughs> it's the same age as me now. Um, right, my first impression of you. Um, I don't really have one. I can't remember when I first met you. But I do remember you hating me. And um, putting my hair across the table in year seven. That was fun. Um, <laughs> funniest moment probably would have to be when um, I apparently took the piss out of you for wearing Clark shoes, uh, again in Cheston. Um, and apparently I had the same ones, but I don't remember that because I pretty much think they will look the same anyway. <laughs> Clark shoes. Um, what makes you a good friend? You are very blunt. And you're a bit like a sledgehammer, but you do give the best advice and you've always been there for me through all the shit. And I mean, there's been a lot of shit. Um, so thank you for being you. Um, I hope you have a great day. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Faye. Oh, my nose looks really red. Um, I hope you have the best day celebrating. You're very lucky that all the bars and restaurants reopened in your honour. Um, I'm very excited to celebrate with you this weekend. I've been sent a few questions that I need to answer about you. So I will, hang on, what do I need to write? First one, first impression of Faye. I thought this one meant you had to do an impression of Faye, but I think it means first impression. First impression of Faye, I think I met you um, at Joe's birthday party when we, um, when we played that werewolf game. And um, I just remember it being really fun. And then we've like tried to recreate it since. And no one can really remember how to play except for, is it George? Um, but yeah, I just, I think I remember you just being really, like loads of fun and like organizing the fun. So keeping it all together, which you're very good at. Um, funny or embarrassing story. I think when we went to Copenhagen and rented bikes and rode to that place, was it where you can smoke weed or something that's and it's legal or something like that um but that was like just such a fun day it was such a fun holiday to be fair um and also I feel like this was the night before but when we like ended up in this car park <laughs> and it was just like this rave like in the middle of no, I can't, I don't even, I couldn't even tell you how we got there, but um, that's a funny, funny story. Maybe not embarrassing. I'm sure one of us did something embarrassing. I feel like someone fell over, but I can't think who it was. Anyway, um, and what makes her a good mate? <laughs> it says brackets if there is a reason. Definitely a reason. Um, loads of reasons, but I'd say the main thing. I think you're just so good at like getting people together, and. Like, I made so many lovely friends through you, Joe and Ellis. And, like, because you organise so much stuff, like, you organise rounders, you organise, like, Christmas get-togethers, you organise darts. Like, I get to keep in touch with them all and obviously, like, stay in touch with you guys. So, and I think, like, a big part of that is because of you. Um, so thank you for that. Um, but, yeah, I, th I think a lot of people would would say they really appreciate you for that. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. So I hope you have the best day and I'll see you soon.
Happy birthday, Faisy. Have a great day. Uh, embarrassing moments of yours, probably multiple nights that you've been sent home early. First impressions that you didn't have a clue who I was, calling me Martin in Sainsbury's. I bet you thought that was my actual name. Um, but then, reason you're a great friend, kindness to invite me out with the rest of the gang uh, when you saw me in Sainsbury's. And obviously, you're an excellent organiser. So, have a great day. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Faye. I hope you have a great day and lots of fun with friends and family. Uh, despite it being locked down, <laughs> forgot about that mind wrinkle. Um, my first impression and memories of meeting you first time, I think it was when uh, I went to watch Bath play rugby. I got extremely smashed, and I just ran up to the window of Jack and Jackie and Ken's house and knocked on it really loudly, and everyone sort of jumped. And, and I saw your smiling face, like ah, this has to be the girl for Jack. So that's my first sort of memory of hanging out with you. Uh, I've also got a very special guest appearance, not to upstage on your birthday. It's Angela. Hi, Faye. Happy birthday. Just Angela here, uh, sending you some happy birthday wishes. Um, my first impression of you, I don't know why, is, is that a, th a theme to this <laughs> you video? You haven't got a second impression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. My first impression of you uh, was first and so only. much fun um, dancing around in the kitchen with Toby, of course, as well. Happy birthday again. Hit me up on social, Toby. Hit me up on social, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Have the best day ever. Bye. Happy birthday, Faye. I think the first time I met you, I was with Hannah Godfrey. And I remember thinking that you were really quiet and you were really shy. And you were really sweet. And I literally could not have been more wrong. And there are so many memories. It's really, really hard to pick one. But... I think the most memorable were the time that we took Helen on that crazy road trip from Pag to Sadar to take her to hospital with raging hangovers while the others went to the beach. Or we got stuck in that weird town, Babinji, and had to plot an escape route. And <laughs> that you were honestly one of the loudest, craziest, funniest, most caring humans I've ever met. You are always the first one to come up with plans, bring us together and Make us laugh with your crazy games. Uh, I hope you have a really awesome birthday, Miss Faye. I love you lots. Happy birthday to the lovely Faye. That's what I thought of you when I very first met you. Very kind, caring, beautiful person. And I hope you have a lovely day. Happy birthday, Faye. Same here. I'm sure you'll have a great time. It will always stick in my mind the first time that we met and went for a meal at Christchurch. And we had the little joke about Jack. You said you thought the world of him and said, and I said, so do I. And that applies to you as well. Happy birthday, darling. Hi, Faye, you're 29. Happy birthday. Just in case you were missing the sea, I thought I would show it to you. So what is my favorite memory of you? Uh, well, to be honest, it has to be all the holidays that we have gone on together. We've had such an amazing time and I wouldn't have wanted to have gone on holiday with anyone else. Uh, from going to Berlin, to Montenegro, Copenhagen, Sardinia, the New Forest and many others as well. They've been all so much fun and even though we've had a couple of disasters such as missing our flight home and pissy pants but we won't say any more about that one um, it's all been so good so what makes you such a good friend well i know for a fact that you would do absolutely anything for your friends and if i was to phone you you would do everything in your power to help me out and that is why i'm so lucky that you have been my friend for over 10 years now so have an amazing 29th birthday enjoy your day and i hope you get spoilt rotten like you fully deserve and hopefully i'll see you soon bye happy birthday faye uh you're a clart because you cry at my jokes sometimes and your, my first impression of you would have been, oh, who's your mate? Happy birthday, Faisky. Uh, my first impression of you was when we met at the Duke of Kent pub and I, after about five minutes, went, God, why is this lovely girl with this absolute weirdo, Jack Shepard? But actually getting to know you, I've realised you're just as weird as each other and you absolutely uh, fit together. Uh, why do I think you're a Clark? Because you probably support about 76 football teams you claim you support Liverpool but you don't we all know that you support whatever team is winning so um, anyway happy birthday to you Faye. Happy
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I'm sorry I've not dressed up for the occasion. Um, apologies for that. Wishing you a very happy birthday, 29, last year of the 20s. Hope you have the best day ever and enjoy celebrating. I'm sure Jack has got lots and lots planned for you. Um, my favourite, favourite moment will forever be the day that you fought a midget in Sheik's. Thanks for always having my back. Um, failing that, probably the letter that you wrote to get yourself to the Christmas ball at the student union because you got kicked out, probably for probably for abusing another midget. Um, thanks for always having my back. Thanks for always understanding and lots of love. Can't wait to see you soon. Happy birthday, Faye. We hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for being a great older sister for us role model, fashion icon. Without you, we would definitely all be less stylish. Uh, Kira has a funny story she would like to share. So one day, Faye came home drunk. It was two o'clock in the morning. She woke me and Amy up and told Amy to move off her side of the bed because she had a tennis elbow. I love you, Faye. Love you. Happy birthday, Faye. Hope you have a lovely day. Thank you for being such a wonderful daughter. Enjoy your day. Love you lots. Mum and Ian. Bye. Happy birthday, Faye. Hope you have an amazing day. Love you lots. Hope to see you soon. Even though we're in lockdown, we can still celebrate it. When we're out of lockdown, we can have a good drink. Happy birthday, Faye. Happy birthday, Auntie Faye. Love you lots. Are you going to smile for Auntie Faye? Get the tinkies out the mouth, yes. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday Auntie Faye, happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday Faye, I hope you have a great day, but obviously you're going to have a great day because you're spending it with me. Um, what was my first impression of you? It's pretty obvious what my first impression of you was. Um, I was just happy that you actually took me up on that first date after me sacking you off the first time. So we should probably thank Joe for that because it sounds like you weren't really that keen anyway. Um, embarrassing story of you. Oh, there's a lot. But I'm going to have to go through in the summer when you asked me to pick you up from your work do at around five. And then you pushed it back to about half past nine. And you were so pissed you couldn't even speak. And then you made me take your cleaner or whoever the hell that was, all the way back to Notting Hill. And halfway, every time on the way back, every two minutes, it would be, where do you live? Where do you live? And then on the way back, it's, where are we? Where are we? And then you shove in that pizza in your face when we got home, which was very, very funny. Um, my, why are you a good friend and a good girlfriend? It's pretty obvious, really. We just have a, we just have a great laugh together. We're always happy and really enjoy living in the flat with you and hope that there's going to be many more years to come. So, happy birthday. Love you lots. When I first met Faye, I thought this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. And um, fast forward a few months, uh, she didn't invite me to her birthday party. So, uh, bollocks to this video and bollocks to your birthday. Happy birthday, Faye. I know it's not in the most ideal circumstances, um, but and we won't be able to celebrate like we usually do, but I'm sure you're going to have a wonderful time this weekend and Jack is going to make you feel really special. Um, I guess the funniest story about you is when we did a, went on a night out in Clapham and you had a little scrap with Chicky and you had to be separated by the bouncers. don't think I'd ever seen you that angry before in my life, but that was a great night and always nice to remind you of that as well. And um, I think my favourite thing about you is that you're so kind, even though you have a bit of an angry side to yourself, which is quite funny at times, but you're one of the kindest people, always willing to help and always happy for a couple of drinks as well on the night out. So I'm looking forward to doing that with you soon as well. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll definitely see you soon. Hi Faye, this is a message to say happy birthday. Um, it's hard for me to remember what my first impressions of you were, um, as I reckon it was probably about 20 years ago that we first met. Um, our, one thing I do remember from meeting you at Beckling birthday parties all those years ago is that you would always give her five one pound coins in her birthday card. 
uh, which for some reason has just stuck with me and I just think it's very sweet. Um, I couldn't possibly put our friendship down to one embarrassing story. Um, I can pretty much safely say there's been quite a few uh, drunken antics and um, fights over the time. Um, so I will definitely be keeping those firmly under wraps. Sorry, Jack. Um, you've always been a great friend to us and uh, I, it's safe to say you've kept us Cambridge girls in check uh, with all your honest advice, which, uh, to be honest, we definitely all needed at times. Um, but anyway, I hope you have a really lovely birthday and sending you lots of love. Bye. Hi, Faye. Happy, happy, happy birthday. I hope you had the best day and I can't wait to celebrate with you. Um, and welcome to the final year of your... 20s. Woo! Let's make it the best one yet. Um, so my first impression of you is an interesting one because I probably didn't realise we went to the same university for the first three months of being there and that was mainly because you um, you skipped all of our lectures and classes. Rebel. Uh, but we soon bonded over our mutual dislike for Ultimate Frisbee because what is Ultimate Frisbee? Uh, and on to the embarrassing story. Well, we've got a few of those in the locker, but um, I'll share this one, which you probably know is coming. So again, at uni, we were in a sports therapy class in a group with, I think, Kenneth and definitely Chicky, and you had to demonstrate uh, doing leg raises. Um, and I'm not sure if it was the kind of just the clenching of muscles or the pressure of the moment, but on the way down from the leg raise, you farted. Uh, of course, Chicky was quick to pick up on it and question what was going on, and you were mortified, but I thought it was a really real bonding point for our friendship because I instantly defended you and said uh, it was actually just the sound of the mat moving. Um, so yeah, our friendship got stronger than ever after that point. And yeah, Chicky, if you didn't know that story, that's actually what happened. Um, and then why you're such a good friend? Well, there's so many reasons. I'm obviously super lucky to have you as my best friend. Um, but you're, yeah, you're just the most kind and caring person and you're the real glue that keeps our group together. So thank you for that and have the best birthday ever. Love you. Bye. Out of anyone who's getting a birthday video for you probably deserve it the most. The amount of times you've organised things for other people's birthdays and celebrations is countless. So just like to wish you a truly amazing happy birthday. Uh, Jack asked us to mention a few things in first impressions and funny stories. But to be honest, the first impression, I mean, it's, it's going on 10 years now. I can't even really remember. But in those 10 years, there's been plenty of memories that, that I'll cherish and laugh at forever. And you've been pivotal in them. So... Have a truly amazing birthday and I look forward to celebrating with you. See ya, bye. Happy birthday, Faye. Hope you have a lovely day. We're very proud of you, what you've achieved in life. And I hope you really enjoy your day. Happy birthday again. Happy birthday, Faye. No, no, Brandon. I love you to bits. Here's the keys to the boat. Have a nice cruise. Uh, <laughs> Bye-bye. Happy, Happy birthday, Auntie Faye. We love you. 